You know, going and editing this video, I found a really nice statement from the NHL just less than seven months ago that I'd like to insert at the front of this video. Clubs decide whom to celebrate, when, and how. With league counsel and support, players are free to decide which initiatives to support we continue to encourage their voices and perspective on social and cultural issues. Wow. You know... That's a pretty fair way for the NHL to tackle an admittedly difficult situation. A minority of players and fans do not agree with the NHL's initiatives, particularly in this case, pride inclusion, but there's the freedom for everyone else to support what they choose to. You know, the NHL is all about these meaningless hockey is for everyone statements. No one actually believes hockey is for everyone because the NHL makes no effort to make hockey for everyone. From covering up the literal sexual assault of their own players alongside who knows how many other abuses we just don't know about yet, to the newest update to the Pride situation. The NHL is having its Board of Governors meeting in New York right now. Elliot Friedman tweeted out that the NHL has decided that teams will not wear specialty jerseys in warmups next season. Now, this isn't just pride jerseys, and we'll talk about that, but pride jerseys have been the main source of, I guess I'll call it controversy. And this, quite frankly, is obviously the NHL kneeling down to societal pressure. I tweeted that it's crybaby shit, and it is. Listen, if you don't want to wear the pride jersey that your team is wearing for warmups, don't. So many people have complained that those who choose not to wear the pride jerseys are going to be ostracized or canceled or whatever else it's not happening ivan provorov was just traded this offseason nobody even brought up the pride stuff the stall brothers all three of them were in late stages of the stanley cup playoffs with mark and eric being in the finals itself nobody said anything about them nobody cared basically the nhl is unwilling to even make the most basic effort which they've made in the past and stand behind these statements because some players might have to show their true feelings. Like, I saw people online saying there were witch hunts against certain players, but no one can tell me how any person was materially affected besides for some people openly disagreeing with their beliefs, which is, you know, the basis of free speech. The fact is, the NHL has been using these jerseys to raise money for good causes, but it's also symbolic of the causes they support. There have been indigenous nights across the NHL with some really cool specialty jerseys. Obviously, there's military appreciation night. Most prominently, I think there's hockey fights cancer are those jerseys banned now too like why can't the nhl if they want leave it up to individual teams why did they have to step in and make this sweeping statement and it's obviously just an attempt to avoid any sort of bad look for the league but this is a cop out even things like these canucks lunar new year's jerseys they're cool just weak baby shit from the nhl